Scheduled transactions, or bill reminders as it's referred to as in 2015, is a great way to automate your workflow. They serve two main purposes. First, they allow you to simplify the entry of repetitive transactions, and two, they allow you to monitor future cash flows. Now I think most of us have some form of repeating transactions, be it insurance bills, utility bills, credit card payments, paychecks. Many of these things repeat at different intervals. I think most of us can understand the concept of scheduled transactions, but let's look at the behavior in the actual register. If we look here, I'll see some transactions in a light gray. These are actually scheduled transactions, and you'll see some clock icons. The clock icon with the red exclamation point, that means that transaction is late. If you look here, and today is actually, that's today's date, 916, that shows it's due, and the blue line separates today from the future, and these are future scheduled transactions. The visibility of scheduled transactions can be set on an account by account basis. For example, in this checking account, if I go and click on settings, I can go and choose how far forward I see these future scheduled bill reminders. If I choose to show the next occurrence of each series, I will see it no matter how far in the future it is. If the scheduled transaction is 10 years away, I will still see it. I can choose the all occurrences in the next 14 days. That's the default setting. You can also change it to go to a further out date range. Or you can hide all occurrences. If you hide all occurrences, you'll see no scheduled transactions in the future until they actually occur to and appear as light. Now I'm going to cancel out of this. And let's look at the behavior of scheduled transactions. Again, these are in light gray and they have not been posted to your register. They'll affect the running balance, but they will not be included in today's balance. Well, how do I post these scheduled transactions to the register? Well, there's a few different ways to do it. If I want to post the transaction exactly as is, just select the transaction and click on the either deposited or paid icon. And the transaction will be recorded exactly as is. But sometimes you might need to edit various details of the transaction. For example, the amount may vary or you paid it on a different date. Let's look at an example at my gas bill. Well, that's a different, it wasn't 8160 this month, it varied, so I just double click on that amount, choose the mark as paid option, and that will take me to the transaction that's going to be posted in the register. Enter the new values, and record. If you ever need to ignore a single instance of a tra scheduled transaction, just double click on it, choose skip this instance, hit OK, that instance will be ignored and future instances in the series will continue to occur. Do not delete the transaction. Now the last option you'll see is edit this in all future transactions. This is really the same as if you were setting up the scheduled transaction template. So I'm going to cancel out of that and let's go look at how you actually set up a new scheduled transaction. Setting one up is easy. Go down below and click on the schedule icon and choose new scheduled transaction. And you'll be presented with a dialog box that allows you to enter the data for the frequency of this tr scheduled transaction series. Using the schedule should be pretty self-explanatory. Just look at the different pop-up menus and adjust things for the frequency that you need. One thing to note is that within the actual date of the month, there is a last setting. So if you need some uh, transaction to fall on the last date of the month, notice that it is there. And do note that you can click on this plus sign over to the right and add additional criteria to your series frequency. Now I'm going to get rid of this additional level of criteria by clicking on this minus sign. And here's a tip. If you ever need a single bill reminder that doesn't repeat into the future, go over to this ends and change this never to after and change it to one time. You'll get a single bill reminder It'll remind you when your bills do, and then you'll never see anything about it in the future again. Now I'm going to change this back to being in an infinite series, so we'll change that back to ending never. And the one thing I want you to notice is this calendar on the right. A lot of users get confused by it, and all this really means is when does this series begin? This really isn't too complex. All this calendar does is show when this series actually begins. For example, 
I have the date range for today's date, September 18th, 2014. And if I look over here, I'll see when the next series are. If I want to start this transaction, let's say November 25th, I'll just use an arbitrary date, select it over here, and notice when the instances and the frequency of that series occurs. And what I'm really trying to get across is don't use this calendar for setting the day when things will occur. Let's just go back to September the 18th, the current date. For example, if your credit card bill payment used to be on the 20th and now it occurs on the 10th, do not use this calendar. Just use these pop-ups here on the left and I'd choose the 10th. And once I get the schedule set up to my liking, I can click on the Xbox to close it out and then I just fill in the details the rest of the transaction is needed. For example, Brandy Carter rents for me. $350 is the amount she pays me each month. Save that. And I'll see this is now a scheduled transaction that has not been posted and is ready to be recorded when needed. In closing, it should be pretty easy to figure out how to set up and manage scheduled transactions. If you want to see all of them in one single spot, click on Bill Reminders and you'll see all future instances of every scheduled transaction you have, regardless of how far into the future they may occur.